Hey guys, it is Michelle. I am going to be doing to how to clean vintage toys video. This one is specifically for uh, troll dolls. What a surprise, right? Anyway, um, there's two dolls in particular that I'm going to be washing today. I haven't had a chance because I've been so busy with the holidays and just things in general. But um, the first one, woo, was <laughs> um, The first one was this one that I did an unboxing on. This is Snappy or Snaps. I think it says Snaps on its back. Um, that video is um, under my toy reviews if you want to see it. Um, it looks like there's something in his hair. So I want to definitely clean that up because that is really like gross. Um, and the other one is the mermaid one. Now this one is going to be a little bit more difficult to do because her body is very soft. But um, troll dolls in general are not easy to clean because if you soak their hair or their heads, because um, this is only glued on, this isn't like baby dolls where sometimes they'll root it into the head itself or the skull of the doll itself. These are just glued on top. So it is extremely easy to um, have these things fall off. Anyway, what you are gonna be needing, I'm in the bathroom, which is why the lighting is so horrible and it is freezing in here. I just put the heat on, which is why I'm wearing this. I've actually had this on since I got home. I'm gonna walk you outside later. I did a snow video earlier, but it is like snowing like insane outside. I'll show you that later. But for now, you're gonna need the items you're gonna be cleaning. I'm gonna do these two because all my other guys are nice and clean. I have this old toothbrush. I never used it. I've specifically bought this brush for cleaning knickknacks and collectibles in general. You can see, um, even though this is a clean brush, there's a lot of dirt and stuff in here. I always keep this by my windowsill um, in my kitchen just for if I'm detail cleaning like one of my collectibles. Um, it's just a really good idea to have one of these around for doing detail cleaning. Anyway, I know Joey's mother uses toothbrush to clean her bathroom areas, like, cause there's certain areas like around your sink and around your faucets that having a toothbrush around is great. Especially like if you're going to your dentist and they give you the free toothbrushes anyway, hang on to those. If you know, if you don't use them for your mouth, they are great for cleaning. Next thing I have is just a towel. I'm going to be laying them on and drying them with, obviously. Um, you can use a washcloth if it's a smaller item. I just got the big towel because I want them to sit on there and dry for a bit. This way they're not going to soak my countertops. I also have, and whatever brand you use is up to you. I always use baby shampoo when it comes to washing um, hair on items like this, just because it's gentle, number one. Um, it's got a pleasant scent. And I mean, you can get the Johnson's brand. This is, I believe, where did I get this? I think I got this from Family Dollar, this brand, the Kidgets Baby Shampoo for like a dollar and change. Um, you can use whatever shampoo you like, but this I think is the best because it is made for babies and it's very sensitive, so. That is why I use this. I also use this on my makeup brushes as well. So if you need to do your makeup brushes, um, go there too. Um, so far, just so you could see, I have here just some water in the basin. And I'm gonna see if I can do this. Have you guys watch me do this? I don't know, let's see. Let's see. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be very difficult, but I'll show you as best I can. Anyway, the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna wet the top. So, how am I gonna do this one-handed? Let's see if I can like make a makeshift. We're going to try it, guys. I promise we're going to try. Can you see sort of what I am about to do here? Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the water and I'm just gonna take the tip of his hair because you don't wanna get it too, too wet here. You can see I just wet the tip here. Now the base is still dry. You want to keep that as dry as possible because you don't want the glue to unhinge because I am using warm water, which is going to melt the glue a little quicker. So now I'm going to go to this spot here where the dirt is. And I'm going to add some water to it just to work on it a little bit. We'll work on cleaning the body in a second, but I want to get, I'm pretty sure this is old ketchup or something. I have no idea. Next we're going to, Take some of our shampoo here. Not a lot, we're just gonna go through the tips. You can see. And you're just shampooing like you would anything else. Like I said, working specifically on the areas that are dirty. Like so. And you can do this with many different types of toys. This one I'm doing trolls because I have two trolls that need cleaning. Now, 
I'm just going to put, like I said, the tips in again and just rinse that off slowly. Come on. Avoiding the base as much as possible. And this still doesn't want to come out. It's been in his hair for so long, this is going to be a little difficult. So I'm just taking the shampoo that's in there and just really massaging it into that spot. But yet still keeping the base where the glue is dry. Even if you have something right on that baseline, you can still clean it, but just be careful. Try not to get it that wet. I have gotten um, the little skulls wet before and um, loosened it up. But if you're careful about it, it'll stay on. Or worst case scenario, you're gonna have to just glue it back on. Um, I haven't had to do that, luckily. So now I'm just gonna turn the water faucet on just to work through the rest right there. Because now that the water is filled with with soap, okay. And then just gently wring him out. I'm just grabbing from the top and just squeezing it on down. And as you can see, I now got that mark out of his hair. <laughs> Look how cute he is. So now I'm gonna take the brush and we're just gonna go over his face and his little outfit and stuff. Don't fall in. So I'm gonna wet the brush in the water a little bit. And just kind of like if you were doing your teeth, just put a little dollop on there. Work it into the brush a little bit. Wet it again. And I go all over the little areas. Like areas that are painted, I do a little lighter because I don't want to have that chip off. But areas that aren't, you can go in a little deeper. Like I'm going to clean behind the ears. Same with the body itself. Oh, on. Just be more gentle on areas you know are painted. Like you can you can differentiate just by looking at the toy. Use your best judgment. Okay. So now that that's all sudsy gonna lightly rinse him off again avoiding the base of his head now I know I think some Barbie dolls are the same way I've come across some well they weren't actual Barbie dolls but they looked like Barbie dolls that the hair is just whatchamacallit glued on so there so now he's all nice and clean much better. So now I'm going to put him over here. Just dry him off. And then I'm going to let him air dry there for the time being. If you want to let them sit overnight, be my guest. Now this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because of the body. Now I can't take her outfit off unfortunately, which I would normally do, but I can't do that. But we're going to do the same thing with the hair. We're just gonna dip her in, and I wish she didn't have this thing in her hair, but you know, we'll work around it. So we're just gonna dip her hair in lightly because she does have something, and again at the base, I'm not sure what, but um, she's gonna need a little bit of cleaning with the toothbrush as well in her other areas, but that's fine. Hold on, so put it through the little spot I wanna work on, get it penetrating in there, and then work through the rest. Her hair is going to look so much better. Um, it's not going to be in this video, but I'll do a video on how they look afterwards. And my hair is, sorry guys, now that you want to see my locks, you want to see theirs. So just doing the tops, getting a good lather. You can see I'm covered in it. 
And she wasn't as bad as Snaps was. She's just got one little spot here in the base. I don't know why, if they're leaning up against things or... I mean, this wasn't a um, restaurant premium toy like... or a Happy Meal, kids meal toy. So, I mean, that's why I thought it was ketchup in the other guy's hair. But... I'm trying to get a little bit in the front. Because she's got that bow in her hair. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult. And like I said, if for some reason you do get the base wet and the hair does fall off, you can easily just re-glue them back on. I've actually seen people um, take the hair off entirely intentionally and just reroute their hair and they've done some really do um, really cool customs. I've seen a lot of custom trolls done that way. They're pretty nice. Now I'm just gonna rinse her out. And I got the majority of that out. Now, unfortunately, I did get the skull on this one a little wet, which um, I'm not happy about, but it occasionally does happen. And you can see here, it's starting, let me see, you can see here that it's starting to come away a little bit, but that's okay. It's just the one area. It'll work. Um, if I let her dry, that'll be okay. So now that the hair is done, we're going to do the same over the face. Ooh, making a mess. And she's got staining on the back of her body as well. So I'm just gonna gently go through here. Now this one I am gonna be a little bit more rough on because there is no paint on, on her. So I can just get up in there. And she's gonna smell baby soft when we're all said and done. And she's got a little marker here on her hand. Now that, I'm probably gonna, oh, it is actually coming out pretty good. Because I have another trick to get stains out on toys. Uh, we'll save that for another toy cleaning video. Oh, beautiful. Here, I don't know if you can see, look at that. The marker came out of her hand. Just from using a little bit of baby shampoo. And she's also got a little stain right there. And this is great because like in the trolls, you can see they have all these little lines. You know, you've seen trolls. They got the little lines and stuff in their faces and the bristles get up in there. So if there is dust up in their faces, this is one of the best ways of cleaning it. If you guys have another way that you do it, let me know. I'd be interested to see how you guys do this. Okay. So now I gotta be very careful because of the body being made out of fabric. Actually, I'm gonna go and grab a washcloth, which will make this job a little easier so that I don't get the outfit wet. Because I do not want to be doing that. Because then if it doesn't dry properly, it can mold, and then you just got all kinds of issues that you do not want to be dealing with. There we go. Get all the soap off. Get up in the face. Okay, I'm gonna just rinse her face really quickly to get the soap out of her eyes. There we go. And she is all clean as well. It doesn't take very long, just tedious a little bit, but ooh, we're gonna go up here. It's just tedious when you're using your toothbrush. If you guys remember from the unboxing of her, her hand is no longer got marker on it. I got rid of the stain on the back of her head as well, but she is now gonna air dry as well. She looks so much better. And I will do an after video when they're fully dried so you can get the full effect. And then when you're done, all you have to do is rinse out your toothbrush. I'm just gonna use it because this water isn't that dirty. It's dirty enough. You're not gonna be able to see it because of the lighting, but there is like a, a, a gray tinge to it just from cleaning their hair. I mean, even though these toys were, uh, let's say just sitting on a shelf, dust gets into there and stuff like that, it, it gets trapped in the hair. 
So it's always good to give them a little shampoo. It's kind of like shampooing your own hair. You need to take care of that. We, we do it on a daily basis. It's a little different for a toy, but it's definitely a good idea to do. I've done it with all of my trolls, um, all my toys in general. I do wash up, um, not every week, but you do it to, you know, how you feel. If I notice they're getting a little dusty, I mean, I dust them regularly, but sometimes I need a little bath and I take care of that as well. But that is it guys, with just a toothbrush and a little baby shampoo, they're all nice and clean. Anyway guys, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching, because I know this video was requested. It's just I wasn't sure how I was gonna set the camera up and I'm, I apologize in advance if the angles were a little weird, but I, I definitely need to get a tripod that can like kind of help me out with that kind of thing. Anyway guys, I thank you for watching. If you have any more questions about toys or because well, my channel is very all over the place in general, I'm not necessarily beauty or toys or anything. I I'm a little mishmash of everything. <laughs> if you have any questions or any video requests that you want to see, please let me know and comment down below or comment in any of my videos, I will see them. I am working on a candle making video. I was supposed to do that over vacation, but things got cray cray. It happens occasionally, but I do have everything set up. I got my little candle lab all ready to go. It's just having the time to do it. It might not be up till after Christmas, but I'm going to attempt to do it before Christmas. Um, just a nice little how to do kind of video. Maybe I'll even do like how to make jewelry video because I went and I made these bracelets for my grandfather while he was, before he passed away. Um, I call them DNA bracelets. So I may do a video on those. I think I've spoken to you guys about the DNA bracelets before. Anyway, I will see you all later guys. Take care. Bye.